Hi, and welcome to Shine Curriculum's Read Aloud for the week of April the 12th. My name is Joan, and I'll be sharing the story of Jesus' resurrection from Matthew 28, verses 1 through 10. It is so pretty outside today. I can just imagine the bright and sunny first Easter morning, minus the lawnmower. If you have Shine on a Story Bible, you can read along with me. The story, Jesus is Risen, is found on page 270. This same story is told a bit differently in each gospel account. In the Gospel of Mark, there's only one person in a white robe. In Mark, the women were so afraid that they didn't tell anyone right away. So let's listen to the story. Mary Magdalene, Joanna and Mary, the mother of James, and some other women got up while it was still dark. They carried their spices toward the tomb as the sun lit the eastern sky. The women were on their way to anoint the body of their dear friend, Jesus. They had watched Joseph of Arimathea put Jesus' body in a tomb on Friday afternoon. Now it was the first day of the week, the day after the Sabbath. They said to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they got to the tomb, they found the stone rolled away. They did not find Jesus' body. Suddenly, two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. The bright figures said, Do not be afraid. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Do you remember? He told you while he was still in Galilee that on the third day he would rise again. The women ran to tell Jesus' other friends. The disciples didn't believe it. It seemed like a made-up story. Peter got up and ran to the tomb. The stone was rolled away. He stooped and looked inside the tomb. Sure enough, there were the linen cloths that Jesus' body had been wrapped in. But Jesus' body was not there. Peter went back home, amazed at what had happened. I wonder who the two men in dazzling clothes were. The women were terrified. Imagine being fearful and then finding out the best news ever. Imagine running as fast as you can to tell this amazing news. I wonder what the disciples thought when Peter came back and told his story. Well, I got chased back inside by the rain, but I hope you enjoyed today's story, and I hope you'll have a wonderful Easter with your family. No doubt it will be different than it has been in years past, but I hope you'll be able to get outside and enjoy God's beautiful world and spend time with your family. Thanks again for listening, and I'll see you next week with another story.